Hey everyone, welcome back. Now continuing in a learning journey of hands-on machine learning with scikit-learn, KRS and TensorFlow. Now today we are going to look into the part two of this chapter one. So in this part two, we are going to look into one of the important topic that's called as types of machine learning system. Okay, now why is this important? So when we talk about machine learning system in general, we have various kinds of system guys. So you might have heard about people talking about supervised learning and you might have also talked about like heard the people talking about instance based learning and model based learning and some other types as well. So today we are going to dive deep into the various types that we have when it comes to machine learning systems. Now before we understand the types of machine learning system that we have, let's look at some of the applications that we have when it comes to machine learning. So machine learning is actually being used in various domains, guys. So an example can be is uh, I can use this machine learning or the deep learning models to perform the task of image classification. If I want to just give a classic example of image classification, suppose I have an image of cat and I'll give this image as a cat for my machine learning model. And it helps me to say whether this given image is a cat or a dog. So this is just a generalized example guys, but you can clearly make out the level of uh, complexity that we can, we have the, we have the possibility to undergo uh, when we, when it comes to image classification. So I can just say, okay, given this person's image, whether this person is the, the real person, which I'm looking for, you can look into the application of face ID, which we have in Apple. So where we have the facial recognition to check whether a person who is appearing in that video feed, whether is this a person belongs to the owner or not. So as you can clearly see, the applications are endless when it comes to computer vision task. And another example is uh, using the chest x-ray and say, okay, whether this patient has a COVID-19 or not. So that's another uh, use case of using the machine learning uh, in the field of medical science. And another example can be is creating a chatbot or a personal assistant uh, with the help of machine learning. So you might have used the various food ordering apps like Swiggy, Zomato and various food food ordering apps and you might have experienced about the chatbot. So you can just converse with a chatbot and you can get the resolution in just in just in the matter of few seconds. So these are all the applications of machine learning. And another classic example that I can say is suppose if I have a news article with me, if I want to classify a particular news article to one of the category, that's also an application of machine learning. So this is just a representation of some of the applications that we have in machine learning. Now you can think about any problem in your industry or in your business and you can think about as how we can use the machine learning techniques and how you can make your lives easy. Now these are some of the examples of applications of machine learning. Now let's look at the types of machine learning systems. Now we can uh, classify the machine learning systems on the basis of many things guys. So I can classify the machine learning system to tell us whether they are trained with the human supervision or not. And I can classify the machine learning system uh, on the basis of whether they can learn incrementally or not, or whether they work by simply comparing the new data points to the old data points, or can it generalize it from the data? So I can classify the machine learning system through many ways. So let's look at some of the important classifications that we can do on the basis of the examples that you're seeing on the slide. So the first thing, whether they are trained with the human supervision or not. So with this, uh, under this, we have supervised and unsupervised machine learning. Now in case of supervised machine learning, whenever we are performing the training, we are going to send the input data along with the desired solutions and labels. Which means if I want to take back the same example of cat dog classifier, that means for a given image, this is the image and let's say I have a cat inside this image. So for this given image, which contains the cat, when I'm training on my machine learning model in such scenarios, let's assume this is my machine learning model. When I'm training this machine learning model in such scenarios, I'll give this image data along with information that says as this image contains the cat. Okay, now if I have an image of dog, I'll send this image of dog and along with that, I'll give an extra information which explicitly says as this image contains the dog. So when I have a training data which contains the 
data set along with the labels which means what those labels would correspond to that is a scenario of supervised machine learning we are going to send the data along with the solutions or the label that we expect now once the training is complete i can straight away give the image of dog another dog and check whether it is able to detect whether this image contains dog or not okay but during the training it is very important we provide the data as well as the labels along with it so that is the case of supervised machine learning now coming to unsupervised learning now in case of unsupervised learning it's just obvious guys so in case of supervised learning if i have a training data as well as the labels but in case of unsupervised learning i'll just have the training data which is unlabeled that means i'll just give the set of images to my system and my machine learning system will be able to perform the task on the basis of the task that we expect an example can be something as google photos so you just upload your photos to the google and google photos is going to uh, look through the images and finds okay these are the uh, images which contain similar faces so i'm going to create it as a separate category and these are the images which contains this person so i'm going to create it as a separate category so what is happening over there is you have just uploaded the images to an application called google photos and google itself has computed some kind of computation in the back end and created some groups on the basis of person who is present in those images so that is a typical example of unsupervised learning where we just specify the data and my machine learning system is going to perform the task okay now which task to perform and all those things so we'll be studying as we progress in our learning journey guys okay and we also have an another example another type of learning that's called as semi supervised learning we'll use it when we have large number of unlabeled data and only few number of labeled data so the example can be google photos as well so in case of google photos the google photos is going to ask you to name few labels means it will have it will ask your help in identifying few images and on that basis of information it will automatically label the remaining images so that is an another example use case of semi supervised learning with the same application of google photos now to perform these tasks like supervised learning and supervised machine learning we have various algorithms with us to name a few to perform su supervised machine learning we have linear regression model and we have uh, a knn model that is k nearest neighbor we have support vector machines we have decision tree we have random forest so these are the various machine learning models that we have to perform supervised machine learning okay now coming to unsupervised learning we can perform various tasks we can perform clustering with the help of k means clustering and we can perform the activity of building the recommendation model using uh, a priori algorithm so likewise we have various machine learning models which are with us to perform various tasks of supervised learning as well as unsupervised learning and we are going to learn in depth as we progress in our learning journey guys apart from classifying the type on the basis of my training data i can also classify my machine learning system on the basis of whether it is an instance based or whether it is an model based now in case of instance based so in an instance based learning what happens is the learning happens by heart okay the learning happens by heart in case of an instance based learning but in case of model based learning so it actually generalizes the learning from my existing data and using the generalization it will help us to do the prediction on the new data so that is called as instance based versus model based learning now apart from this instance based and the model based we have another type that's called as uh, online learning and batch learning okay so whether the uh, training can happen on the fly or whether the training can happen on batches so on the basis of this as well we can also classify the machine learning systems so in this video we have learned about the various applications of machine learning system and how we can classify the machine learning systems so in general we can classify the machine learning system on the basis of training data that they expect that is in the format that they expect or i can classify my machine learning system on the basis of training whether it is an instance based or whether it's a model based or or i can classify my machine learning system on the basis of whether they are going to train in batches or whether the learning can happen on the fly so this was the short video on the types of machine learning system guys 
Now in the next video, we are going to look into the challenges when we are building the machine learning algorithms. So we are going to learn that in the next video. I hope you liked our video guys. So if you like, please do share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you are new to us, please check out our deep learning playlist if you are already familiar with machine learning terminologies. I really wish you all the best for your learning journey. If you need any help, please let us know in the comment section. We'll be happy to help you. Take care guys. I'll see you next time.